Listen in right here, come on, hey. be the joint, press play on hey. the track. Hey. So reach a bullet point, put the crowd no longer sit aside and just some up. Up Let's go. Hey, welcome back to Say List Podcast. It's great to have you guys here. Uh, we got an awesome oh. guest for you guys. It's your boy Sefa. It's my dog Atu. Uh, we have the amazing ladies and gentlemen, born and bred in Wellington, Rongotai College, Wellington Lions, yes. Hurricanes, or oh. Blacks. Ladies and gentlemen, Adi, never fold severe. Let's go. Welcome, Muzo. Oh. Thanks, T. Welcome, Muzo. Welcome. Man. Me too, man. Oh, man. What a tracker. What a tracker. Tracker. <laughs> <Not much. laughs> man, wow. Boy, you guys have had a long season, man. It's great to... Wow, you're almost home. <laughs> you're yeah. almost home, bro. Um, but, uh, how's it been, bro? How's the body? Yeah. It's been good, man. Like, uh, obviously, we were 15 weeks away, mm. um, you know, touring, playing footy. Um, and I'm in quarantine right now. Um, but, yeah, the body... The body's all good also, like, yeah. um, body's all good. I think just mentally, mm. just like drained, like, you know, like, yeah. oh. like, ref- like I wasn't at the time, but like looking back and just doing nothing, like oh. I didn't realize much I needed just to sit still and just not do anything. No rugby, no, uh, but yeah, I'm doing all good. So I'm mm. just holding, go see my little kids and yeah, see yeah. my wife and just enjoy the holiday, man. Yeah, because man, this is the first time you've actually just sat down at no rugby eh? in 15 weeks. Yeah. Man. In 50, oh, like the whole year, because we had year, super, yeah. um, super rugby before that, and then we've been on tour. Um, but like, it's been nice this week just to just like wake up and not yeah. do it. Like, just <laughs> yeah. relax, man. You're on the what bike, brother? <laughs> nah, so, what bike? <laughs> man, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, it's great. Again, it's great. To, it's an honor to have you, bro. Uh, I know you've had a, a tough 15 weeks. Um, but we'll get straight into it, bro. Like, tell uh, us about yourself, man. The journey, bro. How's that? You know, what was it like growing up, you know, uh, yeah, in man. high school, your journey? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, shucks. Obviously, like born and bred in Wellington, mm-hmm. uh, it was just real, real small family, bro. It was just me and my older brother, mum and dad. Um, both my parents, obviously, born in Samoa, migrated into migrated to New Zealand. Um, had me and Jules, bro, and yeah, we we're kind of we we're kind of blessed, man. Like uh, our upbringing was like pretty much similar to a lot of our a lot of our Polynesian and Pacifica people where um, they didn't have much materialistically, but yeah. I think i um, very grateful for that we had so much alofa, so much love, yeah. family. And like back then, you didn't realize it, you know, like you're just a young kid that didn't yes. have any <laughs> and, uh, Looking at all your friends or your Balangi friends that had yeah. the skaka, skaka, skaka. <laughs> And you walk around thinking, far man, we're poor. Mm. I want that. This. But, you know, when you get older and through the journey, you kind of realize, like, how rich we were. Yeah. Um, like, mum and dad and, mm. and the love in our family and our, you know, the cousins and all that. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, looking back, man, I, I reckon I had an awesome upbringing. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, looking back, seeing actually, like, what my parents did and sacrificed mm. for us, like, you don't actually realize until you have your own kids um, like what that's like and man like you know what like this day and age is so much easier you know you got cell phones iPads yeah. YouTube for kids <laughs> like <laughs> um, you know you just kind of think to yourself how did our parents do it mm. like you know like raise kids work yeah. two jobs each put food on the table the um, but yeah real grateful man that was the upbringing me and my bro yeah. Um, man, like sport was in our blood. I think um, we just love playing sport, running, everything, mm. any kind of activity you would be doing. Um, so, yeah, we just kind of Jules was like the size he is now. Man, he was that size when he was like fourteen. So, oh, um, <laughs> I know, man. Like my my old lady had to carry 
his passport everywhere we went because oh. people yeah. um, about his age and his size. So, like, he was naturally gifted. Um, obviously, mm. he all the teams and rep teams, and um, he was kind of like the pay- pathway for me. Yeah, like, you know, I, mean, I wanted to be like that. So, um, we kind of just naturally flowed. But yeah, man, like, yeah, that our upbringing was beautiful. Also, um, you know, lots of love. Mm. Um, never had a day where you know, like, you know, did we have our backing of our families? But they were always there, man. So it's just nice to be able to be in a position where, um, you know, I can just give back, and me and my both me and my brother in a position, mm. God willing, that we, you know, uh, in that position, and to be able to just provide for our own families but also um also bless mum and dad for all yeah. their stuff that mm, wow. mm. Sorry, was it always um backyard backyard footy or <laughs> yeah sorry i don't know play before but we always used to play knee rugby <laughs> lounge that's the one bro and then um crack something <laughs> when you don't have a backyard also you just find yeah. it in the living Yo, yo, whoever whoever cries loses. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. My nose was so big, he would be on yeah. his knees, and and I'd I'd be on my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it was like those little going, those little yeah, games man. like we cousins and uncles, man. Like I think like those little games that we played when we were young, like mm. and plays a part in terms of yeah. how we play the. Yeah, so I remember just running it straight into Jules' shoulders, shoulder charges, but like that kind of built the the, the no fear mongrel, like yeah. you know, like 100%. from the beginning. It's it's a weird thing, man, because people ask, "Oh, what is it?" But I think all those little things like that hmm. played a part. Like even like when we, because we didn't have a car growing up, so we we used to walk in bus everywhere until yeah. Jules got his contract. But like at night time when mum used to go housey yeah. and finish, yeah. we'd catch the bus and then we'd have to walk like 20 minutes. So we'll let mum walk first yeah. and yeah. then me and dad would race cars. So like we'll see a car <laughs> approach and then we'll give ourselves like 50 metres like a race and we're trying to race the car. Yeah, yeah. Like, things like that also, like you just think like, far that must have built our speed, yeah. playing knee rugby straight to our uncles, like, you know, that's why we like, you know, bus can bump off. Yeah. I think it's just instilled in us since we're a young mm. age, man. And what's yeah. the um age difference between you two? Um three years. Was, three oh, years. Yeah. Do you get- manage to like, catch him at first of the or oh nah man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably just caught him now. Just oh, caught yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> He's, man, um, yeah. And just talking on on um on, on school and obviously um just knowing your background, being at all the time and whatnot. Um, yeah, how was that? Um, like, obviously, being first 15 and having Jules there as well, but also, mm. like, man, because I watched some of Jules' highlights, bro, and it was bro. shocked. Yeah, Jeez. he was the... Out of the man, <laughs> yeah. like, far out. But, like, yeah, man, like, how was that, like, coping, um, being Jules' little brother, but going into that kind of first 15 um, yeah. environment mm. and whatnot? Hundred percent. Was, was there a lot of like um, expectations put on your shoulders, or like, yeah, did you just go in having fun, bro? Nah, one hundred percent, bro. You know what the boys are like at, at, at college, all the mm. mocks and that. Yeah, yeah. So, well, like, George was a beast, and I walked in. And I was just like little, just like little scrawny kid, <laughs> you know. And but obviously, I had the last name, so I was like, oh, that's George's brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah must be fast, he must be good, he must be, but, so that I was elo. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, yeah. And I, I remember doing athletics, bro, it's called the McKibbity Shield in Wellington. Yeah. And I was in the relays and I was running last and our team was coming first and I got the baton and we were coming first and it ended up coming third from me. <laughs> But I remember the comment was like, walking in, like, so I thought you were Julian Salvia's little brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, just like, oh. but huh? man. And, <laughs> but like, because he was such, he was the man, people mm. just automatically bought and pretty much gave the expectation that I'd be the same, but I wasn't. Mm. 
yeah, yeah. so through that kind of period of uh shit like mm. you know living name but yeah. at the same time i was always proud of the also yeah. um but you know eventually i got an over it also and just kind of made my <laughs> own name yeah. just started playing mm. first 15 mm. uh, played first 15 with bus uh when i was full form and then just kind of went on and just kind of you know played first 15 went into schools and um mm. yeah just yeah just kind of like just paved my own way kind of thing yeah i think you know going back to you know being family i think the one thing that you know we love seeing in super rugby now uh especially um you island boys you know for in- interviews after games you guys would speak Samoan, you know or speak tongan uh, or, or speak uh te reo. and man like for especially for poly kids it's just like man we can actually say those stuff on media. We can speak our language. So like you guys paving the way and the cultural side is amazing for the younger generation. How was that? Like, how did that come up? Like, how did you guys start, you know, speaking Samoan and uh, on, on TV and for interviews and stuff? Yeah, man. Well, the the, the person that led the way was uh, Sa'u Tupolotu. Yes, yes, um, yes, 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 yeah. Um, he, was the, he was the first one to, like, to do it and and that inspired me to to, to want to like yeah. if I ever want to be led a team, I'd yeah. love to start in yeah. my native tongue. And mm. you know, I'm I'm consider myself like I can speak the basic yeah. of uh, more, but um, I wanted to learn. And also, and I think it was last year mm. uh, we were in Aussie. Also, I just sat next to Nipple Nipple Olala. True. Like, I just sat next to him and I go, I go, how do I say um, this? How do I say yeah. this? How do I say speech post game? Yeah. And also he just, he taught me. Also, and I just memorized it. Yeah. Just went, ah. memorize it, memorize it. Mm. And so, hey, that's the same kind of, um, that's the same kind of, so more speech I say after a game. Man. And, Crazy. And just got taught, taught it from Nips. Yeah. <laughs> and he was a heart. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Because it was me, like, except for Samoan and like I'm Tonga myself, but like hearing you and 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 um, you know and Patrick, um, you know, uh, speaking your yeah. native language, bro, it, it, it pretty much covered every Pacific um, nation, yeah. bro. And, like I felt yeah. proud myself, even though I'm not Samoan, but like I felt proud, like hearing you guys, um, you know, speaking your native yeah. language. Yeah. On um, national television, bro. So that was me, man. So big ups to you and and Patty and, yeah. and all the other boys as well. So the funniest Thanks is when the interviewer goes, "How was the game?" Yeah, more more level. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like the interesting thing is, is like what they picked up on was like um, because they knew myself and Patty did it. Yeah, they ch- they started to ask man, us, "Oh, we're just see that? Oh, yeah, we're gonna 100%. say Tava, yeah, and then give." Or yeah. going, hey, that was the game, yeah. and then yeah. they yeah. kind of knew, like we we're gonna say it, so they just like made a made a mm. gateway for, it. yeah, yeah. It's, and it's, it's, yeah, 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 and it's been mean too because now like commentary, like you know, the yeah. commentators are greeting when they're greeting the AB games, and like you know, that's the first thing they say is different languages or whatever, mm. whether it's like the Samoan language week or Tongan language week, you know, they mm. have a crack at like. You know, um, saying a phrase from from those nations, bro. So yeah, hundred percent. Shout us all. Um, and saying that, man, like I know, you know, you're a big advocate of mental health. Um, and you know, we we were talking to one of the other boys as well, Danny. I don't know if you know Danny Tustala. Uh, we were yeah. talking to <laughs> Danny, Danny boy. <laughs> oh. So we were talking to him as well, and you know, like even the smallest things that you athletes get criticized, you know, the hairstyles or the try celebrations, you know, even down to that, but you're getting criticized, even your rugby boots, like with yeah. mental health as an athlete, like how do you guys deal with that? Especially being away f- for mostly a year away from your, your Aina, you know, how do you guys deal with that in that environment? Yeah. Um, also it's like, <clears throat> well, I, I reckon like that, those examples around the hairstyles, the boots, mm. the, like I think that's like one um, comes down to like obviously I've talked about it like the tall poppy syndrome in New Zealand yes, yes. And, and what like around like fitting in a box too yeah. also and around that stuff also mm. I reckon it's 
it, I reckon some of it is part of um, like unconscious racism, bro. Like, like, speak on it also. Like, know what I mean? Like, people, mm. like, they're not used to seeing yeah. certain people, used to seeing people with like funky hair yeah, celebrate yeah. themselves. Um, you know, like but rugby, like boots, rugby mm. boots, players on TikTok. Yeah. Like, they're not, but LA law, like, that's just the nature of our Pol Pacific and Polynesian yeah. cultures. Mm. So we're vibrant, beautiful people that love to mm. celebrate either. But in some people's eyes, that's like a negative. Yeah. And I, and I feel like that like comes down to just like, just like, I don't know what you call it, but unconscious racism. Like it's mm. like they don't understand the culture, you yeah. know, culture, you know, and, mm. uh, and that, and I think that's a massive part. Like that's the root of it, and I reckon, uh, um, I reckon that plays a massive part mm. in terms of how our Pacifica athletes perceive those. Like, yeah. um, like you know, like we come across as like just the guys that are the power athletes, the jokesters, mm. but we're never as the guys that can be like the serious guys with high yeah, rugby yeah. IQ. Yeah. You know what I mean? But how I deal with it also is like I just try and be myself. I still struggle to it now because like it's easy being yourself in an individual mm. sport. That's why you see guys like yeah. Israel Adesanya, mm. bro. They whatever they want because they're by yeah. themselves. It's a lot harder when you're in a in a team environment of forty players yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. A, you know you can't go out there and go you're the I'm the man I'm the man. Yeah. You got three the other brothers yeah, that yeah. are with. So, yeah. It's like that right balance, but I think it's also, I think as leaders and stuff is uh, making sure um, the culture is right and people are able to be themselves. Yeah. For me, man, I try and be myself. I have a real good, strong support crew back at home, mm. like people that keep me, keep me on my toes, keep me accountable, but also affirm me yeah. um, when I need the affirming. Also, mm. um, my have my wife. So just people to, that I talk to hold space yeah. for me. Um, mm. The biggest thing I found that helps is just venting or like talking yeah, about yeah. it, I having that safe space. Um, mm. But that's what I do is, and that's how I cope with it. But mm. like criticism now is getting worse and worse, man. man I feel sorry for I, oh. I feel sorry for that are coming through, especially our people, yeah. because we don't deal with it sometimes. You know, the first thing we know when we get it is this. You know, yeah, come facts, yeah, you know, facts, yeah. And what that gets us in trouble also and um yeah, it's people's social media and media has made it so easy now for people to just come on and troll and yeah pressures of that mm. and around that stuff. Um, I think it's uh yeah, I think it's it's scary also. It's yeah. scary. Um but hopefully with the right tools and the right people in this it's game, scary. yeah, we're able to our people and that's why I think that's where I see why God's placed me in this game and and, mm. and as you as vessel is to to like like you guys say is to encourage and and to give awareness and just share all my learnings mm. for our players they might not listen at mm -hmm. that time but the time in their life and career where they go ah fuck yeah, is that yeah, what yeah, I do yeah. 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 Yeah, so yeah man that's how I deal with my also Ooh. sorry for Thanks for that. And yeah. like, I think I can like, bro, you're awesome at doing it, man. And like, big ups to you, bro. Like, yeah, man. You've also made a move or made a movement also in, in, in your clothing, bro. And congrats yeah. on your drop today. Yeah. Um, yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah, for the viewers that are uh, watching, I know um, Ari will be dropping another one in two weeks. Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry, bro. I'll be watching live. <laughs> He'll be dropping nah, nah, one in two weeks and then another one after that. So, um, yeah. yeah, man, if, if if you're free um, and your pay week on that week, <laughs> your actual wife and just come on, just one week of me going, bro, you'll be good. No, man, one week. Um, yeah, get down to um, Adi's Howdy, Howdy. clothing, bro. Uh, but yeah, man, I've seen it on that as well. Like, that's awesome that you've um, used that platform as well to kind of, um, you know, uh, mm. share the light in regards to that. And 
I like one of your shirts, bro. That um, the faithful one, bro. Like you know, yeah. it, it goes to show, bro. If you're faithful to the small things, bro, you'll be faithful to the big things. And like, that's that's a mm. like I I hold that real close, say, because obviously my journey's been different, and like, yeah, it's always something that I've kind of grown up, bro. But that like reading that off you it encouraged me even yeah. more, bro. So like, yeah, Thanks, bro. So. How, did you, how did you even get into like yeah um, the clothing using line. that, bro? Who, <laughs> that platform for that for the clothing line, bro? Like, what was the idea yeah. behind that? Yeah, also, it's, it's a funny story, man. Like, it, but ever since I was, uh, like, coming through high school, I always had this, like, mindset that I didn't want to work for anybody, man. Like, mm. I just had this, like, like I didn't want to work nine to five. I didn't want to – I wanted to kind of be my own boss kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Um, but at, back then, like, coming out of school in my early 20s, I was harder into fashion and clothes. Mm. Um, so – Obviously, and I had rugby and I had the financial backing where I could mm. invest. And if I lost that kupe, I would be okay with it. Yeah. Um, so I kind of wasn't until my wife kind of was like, no, let's do it. Let's jump in. Yeah. And we went in together. Um, and yeah, it was, it was just a like clothing brand. It was like, we, I came out with my first job and it was like this real budget version of like the Yeezy or the, <laughs> you know, the Yeezy yeah, collection. Yeah. Um, and like after a year, after that drop, like I, there was like no purpose in it. Like I was kind mm. of just like trading something for the hype and, yeah. and I didn't feel it. Um, and then obviously with footy after 217, 218, going through like a bit of, you know, obstacles and trials, I was, um, big on like the well-being stuff and, mm. and got like, trying to get through tough situations. So mm. I thought, why not bring both together? So I had a clothing brand and why not share messages through the clothes? Yep. And I think that's where the idea stemmed Dang. from also. And then that's where it all came. And now also it's just like, it was sharing my journey also, or it was, it was sharing my journey. But yep. the recent collections that we've been dropping has been me and my wife's journey together as, as, a, as a marriage, as a covenant. Um, not sharing all the details, but just sharing yeah. kind of what we've been through and what we're kind of learning and what we're yeah. actually dealing with at that time. Like, yeah, we don't have all the answers. We're not perfect, but this is the stuff. And hopefully by doing that, people vibe with it and yeah. they, enc they feel encouraged. It starts conversation. It, lights, it sparks a light in their relationship, whatever. Like mm. if, it, if it helps one person, puts a smile, like that's the whole kind of purpose around the yeah. the clothing also. Right. Yeah, man. so this it's been cool, man. That's it's been crazy. cool. That's crazy. Um I, one of the most well for us, you know, we were so proud when you were named captain, you know, of the team, <laughs> you know, as you know, as, oh. as policy. Because I, you know, I obviously I live here in Hawaii and boy, there's four AM games, bro. Live for it, <laughs> live for those four AM games. But the, you know, when when that was announced, like we as, as you know as pacific island we felt like man that was a big win for our people it felt like when it's like when tano manga was you know when tano was named captain you know mm -hmm. and i know that there must have been massive responsibility on your shoulders and you must have been proud and your ainga must have been proud man like explain to us like how was that how did you how was that feeling yeah man it was probably like to date probably one of my proudest moments yeah apart from playing with bus mm. but like you know like like i said it was like you know like the the upbringing we came from with nothing yeah i think a kid like that yeah kept in the all blacks team also if, like i i still get goosebumps when i yeah. think about it now so um but yeah like it was special but like people think it's easy but there's a lot of responsibility. There's a yeah. lot of like things that go on in the background. Mm. And for me, it was new. Yeah. Um, but like, man, like the learnings, all the learnings that I took out of it, um, how to how to actually like lead a team, run a team, make sure everyone's aligned. Like there's that side to it. And then obviously there's the side of bringing people together. Then obviously there's the side of making calls on the field. Yeah. So there's a lot, man. But... I felt like honestly, also I felt like at PSA. I don't know what it was. I think it was my faith. I think you know, 
God was protecting me, but like, it was like, I was, I loved it, bro. I just embraced it. Um, but yeah, more so just happy because like telling mum and dad, Yo, fuck, that was, man. that was special also. And, yeah. Um, being like you say, also being able to represent our people. Mm. Sometimes I play it down, you know, sometimes I'm like, ah. but like hearing it from my boys saying like their dads and stuff are like, watching the yeah, game cool. because they're proud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's, that's when it hits home also. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, it was special. It was real special. Yeah, man, like, um, just on your, on your tour and everything, like, obviously, your social media team of the All Blacks just show what's what they're videoing and whatnot, but, like, just the vibe that we watched, bro, it's, like, it's something special and we, like, I, for myself, like, I definitely know there's, like, something special within this group that went on tour this year. For mm. 15 weeks and and they had to because like five you guys are away for 15 weeks together and whatnot yeah. and then like um i think just seeing all the boys post up and whatnot um you know with different like bro go hard or you're the man bro or like just encouraging all the other boys and mm. like just I, I i know for myself and i know for Sefa and i know for others out there bro like we want to kind of congratulate you guys on, on a Yo, wonderful season thanks, bro man. like even yeah. though the two the two last games, you know, didn't go our way, but like I think from <laughs> us loyal supporters, bro, like Yo, you guys bro, were good, bro. mate. Like thanks for so and, and, so and I was really proud and um you know, well I I guess you guys are happy to be back and nearly there to see your guys' yeah, families. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, it's like awesome. we just yeah, we just wanna thank you guys for, for yeah. representing our country, bro. Nah, all good, man. But, all good. Man, like um, you know, just there's two more questions before we move on to our quick fire. Um, so, yeah, you know, me and, me and um, the Toko here, we used to work at, um, you know, at Calston, you know, within the school and in the community. Um, and I know we, we know a lot of a lot of kids that are going in high school, you know, first of team players. Um, if there's, you know, if you have any advice for uh, the next generation, the young players that are coming up, you know, not, not only yeah. within rugby, but within, you know, growing up as well. Yeah. Um, advice also I'd, um, like if I had advice it would be um, to like wow so much so many things going yeah, through yeah, my yeah, head yeah, also. Yeah. but like uh, from my personal experience also it would be like um, is to be like to be Anna Potter, uh, like to sorry to be like to be yourself, mm. but um, how can I say it? Like with the people and the boys, because I know what our boys are like with yeah. all the mocks and stuff, yeah. and Thanks. like stuff like that. But actually checking in and checking each other around that space because we don't realize like the laughter and our like our innocence of humanly yeah. joking around actually has a massive like effect on us. Yeah. Um, so like just making sure we check, check up and check on ourselves around yeah. the crew that we're around and just making sure we're okay. Mm. Cause I know we just, I know we die in silence yeah. and it's not until we reach a point where we're fung in life is where we have to heal again. So yeah. I read us words of advice for the young brothers out there and the young people is to be yourself, but also mm. um, make sure we're, make sure we've got the right crew around us. Yo, go mm. right, right, right there. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. We're just gonna go into our quick fires, bro. Yes, we want to you up. Um, 100%. Also. <laughs> yeah, bro. We got um, some five quick five quick uh, five questions, brother. That we just want to fire at you, bro. And um, thank you. Yes, if I will read them. All right, bro. Quick fire. First one, the messiest roomie in the ABs that you've had. Messiest you roomie. <laughs> Rico Yuangi. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Reeks. Reeks. No, my also. Uh, we, see, we see a lot of you guys playing uh, ball as well. Basketball. Who's the best baller in the in the team? Best baller? I'd say no. TJ Pinata. Oh, I've seen some of the videos, man. Yeah, Easy. he a hustler, man. Yeah. <laughs> See, um, if you weren't playing rugby, if there was, you know, if if rugby wasn't in the picture, what would you be doing yeah. now? I reckon I'd be. 
Um, I'll be a content creator. Ooh. Actual? Yo. Yeah, content creator. Yeah. Or a teacher. A teacher. Oh, yeah. And we're looking for some teachers up here in Kelston, so feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're stuck on an island. You're stuck on an island. Who's the yeah. one person that you'd be with that would that would that would help you? Yeah. Stuck on an island. Out of, out of, of course, your wife will be there. Also, but out of the boys, yeah. out of the boys, who would who would be the person that you? Anyone be like, in the world, or what, or, or in the team? Ah, uh, we'll the get team. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go with the team and see see we'll where you pick. See where you pick. Who would help me if I was stuck in an island with someone? Yeah. Someone you could survive with. <laughs> someone I could. Yeah. I'd go Ethan Blackadder. Boy, yo, <laughs> <laughs> he's a mongrel, bro. Yeah, he's a mongrel, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, last one. Five people, you know, dead or alive, that you'd sit down and have dinner with, like tomorrow yeah. night. If you choose five people, um, I'd have uh, I'd have The Rock. Yo, yo, Uncle, Uncle. Um, DJ. I'd have. My grand, my my late grandmother. Yo, nice uh, I'd have. Don't know what's all. I just get Alba. Ooh, let's just get just get Alba. Miss Invisible. Scarlett, jo- Scarlett Johansson and oh, Beyonce. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, you're <laughs> lucky. You're lucky your grandma's on the table, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky your grandma's on the table. If you didn't see yeah. your grandma, but yo, ten in the bin for you, boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe by saying those things because my yeah, wife knows they're my yeah. celebrity crushes. Nice, nice, nice. Grandma nice. saved you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, here we go. Um, here we go, um, viewers and um, those yes, that are sir. tuned in. Um, this is Adi Savia sharing a story, and um, mm. we thank you, brother. Thank you for Yo, jumping on. Uh, all good team. This humble uh, podcast, bro. Yeah, we appreciate uh, your wisdom. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, still starstruck, yeah. but um, we thank you, bro. We thank you, and uh, to sign us off, bro, we got a little track for you. Yo, yo, let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Adi Severe. We are Say Less. My name is Sefa. This is my toko Atu. Peace out. Say Less. Say Less. Thanks, team. Say Less, yeah. baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>